Hi guys, welcome back again to this uh, uh, mix from the mix creation. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to look at the responsibilities of a security guard during what you call access control. What, what does a security guard do during what you call access control? Remember, it is your role as a security guard and your responsibility as a security guard to give access to only those people that are permitted to access any given site in any way or the other. So you ensure access is only given to those people that are permitted after under fulfilling the required requirements in one way or the other. So when we look at access, we shall look at access control in what we call three forms or what we call three types of access control. We shall look at what we call discretionary access control that is where the access control lies in the hands of what we call the owner's company. He has control in that way. Then we also what you call the what you call the rule-based access control. What you call the rule access-based control is the rules are being put in place and they should not be violated. For example, don't use, for example, you should not enter without an ATRAS application on your or you should not enter these premises without a mask. Those are what you call the rule-based access control. Then we also will also look at what you call the identity-based access control. When we are talking about identity-based control, access control, is we are looking at the access control that is given to someone after fulfilling or after presenting a given series of documents for him to be given an access into. It may be into that office or it may to be that building or it may be into a particular area in that area. Remember, under this access, we want to look at what are the responsibilities of the security guard. One of the responsibilities of the security guard is what you call handling visitors. How do you handle visas? When you look at these visas, either this visa may be a VIP or this visa may be appointed or um, uh, on appointment or not even appointment. But remember, whether the visa is on a planned or unplanned or a VIP, then he has to complete what you call a pre-access control security check. You first of all need to identify, if for example, we are looking at handling visas, for example, if this visa is to come into the premises, you need to ask where the visa is going, uh, if it is a room number, it's supposed to have the room number. But still, before you can give that person access, uh, you need to get the prior consent of the owner of that apartment or the owner of that building or owner of that office before that person that can go. Then after, you need to what you call confirm is the visitor, is this visitor or is this person going to that real uh, location that is saying. Then probably after confirming, what do you need to do next? Then you need to verify that person by getting, getting what you call the ID, you get the ID, you, you register in the logout book, you register the time of arrival, you also register uh, the location, you also uh, verify if he's using the vehicle, you also verify the vehicle number, you also give all the details that are pertaining that. And if it is a VIP and you're handling a visa with a VIP and that person will need an escort or need someone to escort him up, up to your apartment, definitely it has to be the same procedure. But remember, always make sure that you write each visitor or that is accessing the premises in what we call the visitor's uh, registration book by writing the, uh, the ID number, uh, it can be the company number, it can be the, uh, the national ID, or it can also be what we call the, uh, the, work, the work permit. You can register that, then you also need to register the time, you need to register the location, and you need to thoroughly verify then two, number two is what you call, it's your responsibility as a security guard to make sure that you, you grant access to only those people permitted during what you call handling deliveries. Especially when we are handling deliveries, you may, handling, uh, you may be handling what you call delivery people or you may have uh, be handling uh, personal deliveries. In this case, you need to verify whether that delivery is permitted to go in that place. And apart from that, you also need to verify the owner of that delivery or where that delivery is going. How? How do you do? By what you call, you do what you call pre 
access control and that pre-access control by asking the people the person delivering which location is going and what kind of item is carrying that is part of uh, what you call the pre-access so this will this will give you a clear insight for you to know whether that item is permitted that area or it's not permitted in that area and in case it is permitted in that area then definitely you are going to go down in what you call the visas logbook you are going to write the name of the person you are going to write the id of the person you are also going to write the mobile number of the person then you are also going to write what you call the time when that person arrived or the time of the person is going to that location that is what we are, that is what is that is what what is under what you call handling deliveries also still another another responsibility is your responsibility uh, during access control to handle what you call contractors and maintenance make sure when you're handling contractors and maintenance in that site at that site where you are being posted or that uh, it can be that building or it can be that mall or it can be that uh, whatever you may be posted as your work duty make sure it you know, make sure you handle the contractor and maintenance in the day in in that kind of manner that he can is authorized to do so by getting all the full details uh, getting the location what items are supposed to be delivered do they have a work permit yes when they have a work permit what is the validity of that work permit then how many people are going to go in the building all that kind of information should be put in what you call the control what we call the visitors book the number of people going in that um, I mean, uh, people going to work on that side which kind of materials are being delivered on that side um, the contract or what we call the the permit that authorizes them to do the work then we also have what we call uh, um, uh, uh, passes that these other contractors should have in one way or the other so all those details should be clearly indicated in the book the time of arrival then also the time of departure then also we look at what we call another one is called entry control look at entry control entry control we can either be using what we call an access card or it can also be used by what we call manually manually by writing in the visa logbook the details pertaining to that person who you are giving access to if it's the number of the vehicle or it's a visa with a vehicle or it is a v, uh, someone with a vehicle that got permission from 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 the owner or from visiting from anyone then probably you need to take the plate number you need to take the signature you need to take the time and you also need to include the location where the person is by what we call the pre uh, pre-entry then you also look at what you call exit control exit control is also a responsibility by logging out people under exit control you log out that person that is already in you log out by logging out the time and making sure that person has got out of the building then still also what you call uh, we also also what you call escorting on site this is what you call escorting on site is your responsibility especially if the materials have to deliver to a particular area and they need to be thoroughly counted and to see that that is the exact number it may be your role depending on which kind of job description it may also depending on what kind of role will be given it may be your role to do what you call the esc uh, what you call the escorting on site it can be a vip that is coming on site and you need to give an extra uh, an extra security then definitely it will be as a team leader and other guys to be organized to say that they can give out that uh, uh, that kind of security to that person or to that given entity then also we look at the last one is what you call access control point documentation and you look at access control documentation we look at for example in that particular area or that company that you may be working for there may be a lot of employees coming in and you definitely need to do what we call the search and find in case there's something that missing or in case they have to deliver they have to log in to come in definitely it will be part of your role look at deliveries you look at employees coming into that company if it's a busy company and how many people are going in how many people are going in and in case it's part of your role then definitely you have to do it in one way or the other and that is will be what we call uh, accessing or what you call giving access control so all those listed above are part of your responsibilities when it comes to access control especially on sites that we have thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it's next from the next question see you again in the next video